There's a lot that needs to be shrunk here for just um, a pretty standard back window. These are a little bit more curved and that you're gonna slow down right towards the end. So the center uh, is always gonna be kind of the easiest, the first quarter, and then it starts getting slower and slower. So keep your heat gun at an angle, keep everything kind of directed down. We put in uh, our H pattern here and then we're just gonna try and get this as even as we can. And we'll kind of just seeing what the film is gonna to wanna to do on this one. So I'm not really gonna go for speed or anything, just kinda of give you guys a nice, easy going shrink example here. So what I'm looking for is these just starting to kind of like gently lay even, evenly sideways. And then when it does that, you just can just press it down and you're kind of looking for the next point where it starts looking like it's all bunched up. And then I'm not shrinking up here, I'm shrinking down at that bunched up area. Another thing is we're not going too far over this way. So I'm not shrinking too much here because that's gonna cause a lot of tension in the center. Just nice and even. Heat gun, sometimes we get a little bit closer when you get farther to the end. Get if it's that extra blast of heat because it really needs it to lay down. And then you get it to that point where it's like, it's on the verge of almost burning. It's like melting a lot. And then that's when I will press it down right in that sweet spot. Give it a lot of heat and knock it down. So like we discussed before, corners, things start to get bunched up in your corners. So you don't want to keep your film just smack down like this and try and shrink it all up here or else you will create a pinch point right here. So I picked it up, I'm letting it float and I'm just going to kind of shrink this whole section up here and kind of like, see this little swoop here? See how it's angled here? It means it wants to kind of go out this way. So then just kind of take it up and out. Boop -de boop. Don't work yourself into a corner. Your lighting helps a lot. That's great. Glad to hear it because I put a lot of effort into that. So you need like this, <laughs> you need this balance between uh, like soft lighting that kind of shows everything um, and then having those uh, like these harsher lines in some spots helps make things look a little bit more defined too. Just figuring out a nice balance between the two. If it was all hexagons, it'd be a mess. So we're just heating it all gradually, seeing it lay, lay nice and softly sideways. Like I said, the first quarter goes really quick. 
See how that all looks nice. All I'm doing with the felt card is keeping things organized. And just going past that area, keep shrinking it gradually. And the farther you go, the more heat you're gonna have to apply, the closer you get with your heat gun, but keep things moving, because you're trying to push a lot of material together. So one little trick too, is that you can kind of snap the bottom. So you're, it's all about keeping it even. So when you're doing this, you're heating up the top a lot, but if you can get that bottom to kind of balloon up and curl, you're throwing a lot of heat under there and you're getting it to shrink a lot more evenly. So for tougher windows, You can just play around with a whole bunch of things. You can like... Any number of which ways until you get that film laying down. And then right at the very edge, give it that blast of heat. Get it to where it's going to almost melt. Slam it down. So this is 20. We're doing 20 on the back, and then 35 on all the sides. A Little bit different than normal, but it's gonna look good. Do you have to lift it back up and shrink it down again? No. No, I, I don't really, I'll be, it might make things, so it, mm, okay. There's, there's just a number of different ways to get it to all do the same thing. So, the, so what I'll do for the bottom is after I cut it, I'll just polish up the edges with my heat gun. Um, I guess for some people it'll help with a little bit more consistency. If you kind of pick it back up and then shrink it back down, It's up to you. I think it's a little redundant. So when you cut it out, it's kind of what I mean. It looks a little wavy in these areas right now. So I'll pull the glass aid and then shrink just those areas, but I don't have to like pick it back up and lay it back down, if that makes sense. All these areas that I kind of shrunk up together now have been sliced apart. So there's gonna be a couple little weeble wobblies. So I guess in a way, it's kind of like re-shrinking it. But honestly, I don't even have to pick it back up. I just take a heat gun and then if it got picked back up, that's one thing, but I'll just take a heat gun, get that really close to the edge. So like this area, right? Just get that heat gun real close and you're just locking that edge down. That way when you layer it in, you don't have extra little fingers popping up.